And I think um, the, the phrase that you used, just sort of, he knew everybody in academia. Um, he could, uh, I don't know, make something that was trying to gain some recognition within the world of academics or uh, by just his recognition of it. And, and we were involved together in El Sol. Right. And, and that is an example of how generously Jack Peltison lent his uh, voice to help us tell the story to a larger community because, of course, after UC Irvine, uh, I went to UCLA for my master's in social work and then um, was a social worker and then took sort of a detour to help with El Sol for a couple of years, the charter school, public charter school um, in Santa Ana, mainly because that's when our first child, Monica, who's now at UCLA, um, was entering kindergarten and she was we wanted her to go to El Sol and it was a fledgling charter school and um, of course I was running around trying to rally the the support from my UC Irvine friends you included Jack included Martha included to and my former dean Willie Schoenfeld etc cetera, etc cetera, to tell everybody what we were up to um, our vision, and again, I was so uh, humbled and, and excited to uh, receive the support for El Sol because I asked and because I told the story of what we were trying to do. Yeah. Well, Jenny, this is to me another great example, honestly, of uh, the kind of leaders that emerge, uh, student leaders out of this university. They continue their con community service, like your involvement with El Sol, and it's not just community service is not just uh, engagement, but it's an incredible dimension of quality that is part of the engagement. As you know, El Sol recently received the number one charter school in the state of California. Yep. That's, uh, th that's pretty impressive, really, uh, given all the charter schools in the state, and this school has all uh, generally first-generation uh, poor, low-income students um, going to this school. <laughs>